What's up, Brothers Tube here, back again with another video, and today I want to do a showcase on how to get level 50 as fast as possible. Some of the methods I'm going to showcase, I'm going to showcase a farming route that you can do, and then also swapping channels for chess, and I'm going to showcase some of the story missions that we can do in Warren that you probably haven't completed and that are going to give a decent amount of XP. We already, now I've, I've gotten a few recommendations from my crew. Uh, a lot of people have already hit level 50. As you see, people are hitting level 50. So one of the main things they did was they did their dailies, right, which I already did. They have an Omnium Beacon, which, again, if you're coming to this video, you probably didn't set up, and I didn't do either. And then they did, they said they pre-leveled to max. I, I pre-leveled to max. They also saved runes. I could see that a few runes. But again, if you, you're you probably here because you're like me. You've used all that stuff. You were impatient, which I was too. I'm not going to save all that stuff because I can just farm this XP out, and I'll show you how. Okay, so as you see, I have everything 100% too, so unless you have, if you have orb, by the way, if you have orbs or chests around here, I do recommend going for those. Those are going to give 4,000 XP, two to 4,000 XP for all those orbs and stuff each, so those are really big to do, and you might as well just, you know, if you haven't done these 100% yet, you might as well go ahead and do those. But we're first going to start off with, there is a section here under your terminal. We're going to head to story. Now, if you haven't been doing these, you should also be doing these because these give you crazy amounts of rewards. But we're going to look at the Warren section, and I'm sure a lot of people haven't done these yet because you don't really you don't really need these right now. It's really hard to hit 23,000 CS unless you spend money. I'm at 21,000 CS. I have a five-star. I got incredibly lucky. So most people above... 22,000-ish have 100% spent some type of money. So if you haven't spent money like me, you're free to play and you want to just get this done, then you probably haven't been using these. So what you're first going to do is come to the terminal page, then you're going to come to this, and you're going to see that these are a lot of quests. Now, I've already looked. This quest gives over 10,000 XP because I have to find three items, which are going to give me 3,000 XP each, 3,400 XP each. So these are going to be a lot of XP for you guys. And you see there's five quests here. So that's over 50,000 XP at the minimum that this quest is probably going to give. And then we have another quest here. That's also going to give a ton of XP. So we'll do that. And then we can come in here and we can claim this. Once these two are done, we'll actually get the 75% and the 100%. And so those are 100 free crystals, 4,000 gold, 2 nucleus, and those, pot those potent things which are really good. We can't actually do the, the last zone. I guess it's called the third regression on here or something like that. I don't, I don't even know what the name is. It doesn't really have a name. So this little section we can't really do. But if you want to go get your orbs and stuff and chests in here, I've already done a bunch. I'm kind of waiting for this to fully unlock before I go back. You can then do those as well. I'm also going to showcase a farming route. So if you've if you've done like me, the first quest is down here in the Warren Shelter. There's a little guy right here. You'll pick up the quest, and this will be these quests here. I'm not going to showcase the other one. You can look up on YouTube. It's really simple. You just Google the name, and it'll be there. But as you see here, we have some enemies down here. In fact, we have three big guys. So we're going to get the big guys here. We're going to start at this camp here, which was from this teleport point. You come down here and kind of head up to here where it's like it's teleport points over there. So you kind of just drop down and head over. It's pretty simple. Once we get these big guys here, we're going to get some slow-mo going. And we'll get some nice damage on them. I'll take this one out. It's, the scorpion can be a little rough. I kind of like to try to take him out first. So you see, we, we did get a decent amount of XP there. I think this guy gives 600 XP. Okay, cool. So he just gave 600 XP. Again, this is if you have nothing left to do and you've already, you've already done the Warren quest. This is the kind of farming route that you'll do. You can also kill these enemies here. I don't think they give too much. 100. So we're going to try to avoid her. But then once you're done with that spot, we're going to come down here to the stronghold. And we're going to use our jet boards. So I recommend that relic. And we're just going to head to these specific strongholds from that spot. Stronghold here, stronghold here, stronghold here. And there was actually a chest for me up here and over here. Those both gave 2,400 XP. So those were really good. Again, we have two big guys here. We have this one, which is going to give us 600. We'll kind of get off our abilities here. So that way I can get them reset with Shiro. That's the good thing about Shiro is that I can actually get abilities to reset, which is nice. Once I crack the shield... Boom. So if you if you have a pretty decent class and a pretty decent way to farm, then you should be getting through these pretty quick. This guy is a little bit tanky, so if you want, you can avoid him. I think he really I think he only gives 600 XP as well. 
I'm gonna just take him down because he's not too bad. Yeah, another 640 XP. So that was about 3,000 XP for that camp. We'll hop on our mount. We'll head over to the next stronghold, which should be over here. And again, we'll see this big guy. And we're also going to have the big guy up here. So we'll kind of snag him if we can. And I'm going to oops, use this. Kind of get some extra damage out since I do not have my abilities up. Let's see, 600 XP there, and another 600. So we've already got 1,200 XP, pretty decent from this little camp. And that only took, like, what, a minute, right? And so, again, this is if you have nothing else, right? I really don't recommend doing this if you don't have to. If you have other story quests or other story missions or anything else that you can possibly do, please go do those first because this is going to take you a quite a long time probably about a few hours of farming just to get one level but this is again people that don't have anything else to do and they're kind of stuck this is what you're going to do and so then again we'll come to this campsite we'll pull him if we can might only be one big one here but that's okay we can take this down really fast You know, especially if your team comp is really good, this farming method is going to be really good for you. Another 600 XP. We can kind of get some from these guys as well. 300 here. Now we're up over 1,000 for this spot. And then again, that was probably less than 30 seconds worth of farming. Really wasn't hard. And now once we're done with this camp, we can then head back over to the original campsite. We'll kind of just, if we can, snowboard over. If you have a lot of endurance like this, then you can easily get over to this side. And we'll come back over here, and then these guys should be spawned up. Now, again, there's also other ways you could do. You could go farm world bosses. You could also apply to groups and recruit and do these banner frames. Like, this is a really good one to do. Like, if you see a three-star, you should immediately apply to that. That's why I did, just to see if it was there. I would have cut the video <laughs> and just went and did that really quick. But these guys should be up i think they're like on a five minute respawn timer so again depending on how fast you are these guys could be back up now you could also go to a different section of the map you could go hit these other strongholds and loot the chest there the chests are going to give between 2400 xp you could also come down here and kind of you know take out these guys because they're going to give another little bit of 100 xp there and, and they're super they're super super fast to take down You'll see with these guys, we're just going to take down them almost instantaneously. That's a nice little 300 XP. You could also farm a more dense population, but this is kind of like the nice route that I like to have. I like to blow up roots as it kind of keeps me in the flow of things. I'm probably not going to see these guys are already spawned back up, so then we could take them down again and kind of get our XP. And it's about like 3,000 XP from these guys with 600 each, maybe 1,800, 2,000 XP. So it's not a crazy ton, but it is a lot when you do the route and everything together. Again, like I said, this is only if you have nothing else to do because this is going to take you quite a while to hit, to hit uh, max level and to just hit level cap in general. But this is for people that don't really know what else to do, as I've said probably a hundred times in this video, but you, you get the point. And again, if this isn't a productive time for you, then I would apply to these little banner frame things and try to get in and just farm those so that way you're, you're actively farming up gear. But if you want a bit of car parts and you figured this is, you know, this is also really good XP. You see, I got 1,200 from that guy there. So that was actually quite decent. So it is over over about 2,500, maybe 3K XP just for this spot, which is not bad at all. You see, I got like a little nice chunk there. Again, I hope this video helps. If you could like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. For more Tower of Fantasy guides, I will be doing those, I think, for the next couple of days until Wrath of the Lifting Fresh comes out then i'll be doing fresh server stuff and i might be streaming as well so if you guys want to check that out please feel free to stop by anytime and until the next one deuces